Hi everyone, so today I am going to be unbagging the Ipsy bag for the month of March. So this month they wanted the theme of you being creative, you know, makeup is all about being creative and putting your own style and your personality into your makeup. So I guess that they incorporated that with the bag. You also get these markers, everyone got these markers in their bag this month. And basically, you can color on your bag. So I think this is really cute to give to, like, one of the kids in your life. I mean, if you are into this stuff, you can keep it as well. But I think this is going to be incredible for my niece. She loves doing things like this. And she gets a cute little bag at this. Bag at that. I think this is also a really good size. Like, especially for kids, they can definitely put their pens and pencils in here. Like, it's a good length for that as well so I think that was a creative and innovative idea so this is skin and co I have received this company's um I have used stuff in this company's brand before and this is the truffle therapy it's supposed to be like a cleansing cream for your skin and basically it's supposed to leave that nice polished cleansing feel and it's a whip formula so it's going to be really easy to apply this is really good for sensitive skin and it's just supposed to basically help, you know, that dry, dull skin that you have and bring your skin back to life, rejuvenated. Almond oil in it, so it's a really supposed to nourish your skin as well. So this is a good size to test out, especially if you only use a little bit of, you know, um, cleanser on your face. I usually use like about that amount, just like on the con I concentrate it in my inner parts of my face because that's where I get really oil oily out and then I wipe it out but it's just a light lightweight you know feeling to it and it has a light smell to in it to it and I think it's the almond yeah I think I definitely smell the almond so if you like almond you are really going to like this because it gives off that light almond so that's good. I'm excited to use that and I absolutely love, love, love receiving skincare in my bag. So I was happy to see this one. The next item I have here is this Gossier. Basically like a lip balm, like Carmax pretty much. And this is in the Rose Balm one. I think there's two other ones. I think it's mint and coconut. So I think this one has a tint to it and the other two are basically just like clear bombs so I'm gonna try it on my lips I think I put too much on here but we'll see yeah I definitely used too much but let me tell you this feels amazing this feels good it, I don't really see the tint on my lips maybe oh yeah it's showing up more on camera definitely oh it's nice it's not too much but it's a nice little tint you know something just to give your lips a little color yeah you don't really see it on my hand that much I do see my lips a little bit rosier so I like that I like that it smells like rose which I'm not the biggest fan of rose smelling items but it's not so overpowering where you absolutely don't like it if you don't like rose it's definitely doable and i do see myself using this often i really like it, it gives me a, a nice little shine and it feels really good on my lips so that was another good item in the bag okay the next item i have here the next item that I have here is Redial, I'm pretty sure, and this is a Glam Eyebrow. So I'm going to swatch it and then I'm going to do my eyebrows quickly to show you how they're, how it looks. So this is how the pencil looks. Really tiny, really tiny, so you're really going to be able to create those small um, brow strokes in the front with this. And then this is how the color looks. Wow, you can get really detailed with this this pencil, but it, it looks like a really good color. So let me try it out. Oh, and then I also forgot to tell you that it does come with a spoolie on the other end. So that's always good to see an eyebrow pencil 
to have that spool spoolie is just so much better because you don't have to have an additional like you don't have to pick up something else for your brows to finish them you just flip it right to the other side you can just flip it right to the other side so this is how it looks it's a good size okay so this is one of my eyebrows done this is it not done before and after i say that it's a really good color um, like, like I said, it's really small, so it, you're really able to really, you know, get precisely where you want, uh, into your eyebrows. I think it's really good for every day. Um, I definitely could see myself using this pencil every day, like, uh, to work because it just, it doesn't give such a bold look, like the color, where it looks like I need a full face on just to match my eyebrows. It looks extremely natural. It just honestly looks cleaned up. That gets really good details on your eyebrows. So I like that a, a lot. Let me finish you up there one and go on to the next item. Okay, my eyebrows are done, but I also like how the cap goes on either end. So if you like to keep your cap on your spoolie, say it's in your travel bag every day, it you can use... I love how when caps go on either end, so it's really easy to put back together. I really like this. I think my eyebrows came out perfect for an everyday wear. So the next item I have here is this Tarte, basically eyeliner. It's really black, it's really creamy, so I think it's gonna be perfect to line my lid with. And then this is called Sex Killer. So I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I did just did a little wing. I think this was extremely easy to do with this eyeliner. Like that was the perfect amount of softness in the pencil, but not too small soft where you just felt like you were just going all over the place. Like I felt like it just looks really good. It was the perfect amount of thick thickness on the pencil where it it's not too thin where you have to go keep creating it to get a thicker line. I think it came out really well and I'm really happy. I can see myself, again, this also being an everyday product. I really like it. Ugh, I'm mad because I kind of wanted to use this as an eyeshadow. But this is the next product. This is DLS Bake Highlighter. But this is the kind of color that I always put in my inner crease every day because I just feel like it's just the perfect like pop of color um, for work. But look at this highlighter. So this is it swatch on my finger. I'm not sure how much you're going to see it on my hand. Oh, there's, I have the, um, the face wash here. So it kind of stuck on actually really well to this, the face wash. That's funny, but it's kind of awesome. So let me swatch it somewhere else just so you can see the actual swatch. So this is how it comes up. That is really pigmented, to be honest, on my skin tone. And then I am going to use it as a highlighter. I'm just getting my highlight br a brush. But I'm going to put a little bit in my crease cause just because I do want to see how it looks as an eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going to get this a little fluffy brush. I'm going to use it as a highlighter first. This is usually what I use as a highlighter brush because I like my highlighter for every day to be a little bit more precise because I don't want it to be all over in my face because I'm not trying to be too beaming at work so yeah so see I thought it was gonna be this is just a little bit too dark for my you know taste I like it to be a little bit lighter than this it's coming off more as a bronzer color than it is a highlighter for me um yeah, I don't see myself using this as a highlighter, to be honest. I just feel like it's just too dark for my taste. It's really dark. So I'm going to go get another brush and see how it looks with as an eyeshadow. Actually, I'm going to use the same bl the brush on um, my... Actually, I'm going to use the same brush just because I just want a fluff of it and <laughs> a fluff of shadow. 
And just to see how it looks, I'm not going anywhere right now. So as you see, I got a bummy sweater on. So let's see how it looks on my eyelids. Wow, this is a beautiful color. Beautiful color for the eyelids. This is like my perfect eyelid color. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Cause like I knew I kind of wasn't gonna like it for a highlighter, but you always can use products in different ways. Um, blushes, if they're too bright on your eye, your cheeks, try it as an eyeshadow. If they're too, if it's too light on your cheek, try it as an eyeshadow. If a highlighter is too dark, as you see, use it as an eyeshadow. I know everything can go, I'm saying eyeshadow for most things, but honestly, like, you can be always so creative with your eyes, which, you know, uh, is what I usually do, do for versatile, for, to be versatile with my products, but look at how pigmented this is in my eye, I love it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more unboxing, unbagging videos. Bye!